Hello and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at the shopping spots in Medina. And if you are planning to go to Medina for Hajj and Umrah, alhamdulillah, so you're going to be thinking of buying some stuff from there as well, which you're going to be bringing as part of the gifts for your family and friends. And this video will inshallah help you to know the locations beforehand that where to go and where, which locations are good to buy gifts or to buy food or to get dates or and even gold purchase because some people get the gold because the prices of gold in Saudi Arab are comparatively better as compared to almost rest of the world. So let's have a quick look at which are the recommending places and which are the cheap places. So number one, it's the most famous if you are in Medina and after, of course, you have been visited and you have give your salam to the Holy Prophet, um, then, of course, you can roam around. And the best place to go as per all the recommendation is the Bilal Masjid market. So Bilal Masjid is quite near. It's uh, not that far. It's around te uh, 10 minutes walk. And what you need to do is just Google Bilal Masjid as I have uh, put in a snapshot because that's the thing. People usually mention the places, but sometimes it, it becomes difficult to know where exactly it is. So this is the map of uh, Medina and this is Masjid e Nabi, the white, uh, the white building you see or the white structure, all of it. And this is the back gate of um, uh, Masjid Nabi. And as per the new gate numbers, because previously there used to be different gate numbers, and I think so 36, 37, 38 used to be at the back side. But now the gate number 365, usually that's why I mentioned the gate five, 365. You come out of there, and if you put the Bilal Masjid, it's just if you keep walking, and uh, you will see the Bilal Masjid over there. It's a white mosque with a green um um tower so let's have a look so this is bilal masjid uh, the uh, in the back you can see that this is the bilal masjid and this is how the market looks like so it's a, it's an open uh, open ended market and there are some enclosed shops as well so they are both there are some shops and some people uh, there is a big car park over there as you could see over here so this is a good big size car park this is all uh, uh, car parking and over there many people are selling the stuff as you can see uh, on on the carts or in their cars and this is how it looks like as well from uh, from a wider angle so that you know when you go there that this is the Bilal uh, Masjid market this is not something else because sometimes people get confused that if this is the correct market or not so you can get and buy cheaper things as compared to the ones which are being sold in the shops because these people of course are, are trying to sell the things in their car and maybe not uh, like paying taxes so that's why they give you uh, the discount as well and this is also um, Bilal Masjid and just with Bilal Masjid you can see a small gate and some shops as well so if you enter from this gate you will uh, find proper shops as well so which will be uh, like a, a uh, not outside not open air but proper shops as well so it is a good place to go and buy things also this is like you can find dates at a cheaper price you can find the jainamas or praying mat over there you can find even gold shops like uh, not the fake gold but the actual 24 uh, 24 karat 21 karat 20 karat gold shops as well over there and it's a good place to buy over there because the rates of all the things are cheaper as compared to the rest of everywhere you're gonna go in uh, Medina so if anything you find like a, suppose an example of a prayer mat if you find outside uh, near to Masjid Nabi, uh, it is 10 pound uh, not 10, uh, 10 Saudi Riyal uh, here in the Bilal Masjid you might find it for 7 uh, so, uh, Saudi Riyal and they can give you a cheaper price as well and you need to know the uh, uh, the craft of bargaining as well because the, p these people are good at bargaining so if you bargain you might be able to get two uh, prayer mats for let's say uh, 10 pounds or 12, pa uh, 12 riyals as well so the next uh, thing is a real market one real market actually i should have said that it's one real market and how you're going to reach it so it is in the front of the masjid -e nabi again from the map this is the map of the masjid -e nabi and 
if you come out of this gate, which is the gate 339 as per today. So if you come out of the gate 339, just keep walk straight ahead. And there is H&M store, a famous brand store, if you know H&M. Uh, on the right side and if you keep going straight ahead you will reach this market okay you can search for one real market and you will uh, uh, you will reach there or the other thing is that this is the clo uh, close up and in the google map if you uh, zoom it over here there is basically everything one real a, a pointer or tag is already there which you can find or you can search for amar royal hotel medina so it is just in front of that and this is how it looks okay that's why i put it everything one real if you search for it and it should be like a six minute walk so it's quite straightforward from the gate to there and the other thing is this is how it actually looks the entrance so I, what i've tried to do is that i've put the google maps google snap so that you exactly know where to go how to find it and what the entrance looks like so that you are not uh, in any ambiguity that this is this the correct one or not so amar hotel just in front of that you will see this kind of a building or uh, an entrance to go downstairs so outside you won't find any marketplace that's the thing outside you won't see anything and after after this actually you, there is a highway so you cannot go further ahead and you won't see market uh, anything like that but there is an escalator and a lift which is going downstairs and once you go downstairs this is how you reach and where the market starts so this is everything one real and there are lots of shops it's a big area with lots of shops over there and again everything uh, is not one real they are different shops but this is also good price market so either you can go to bilal masjid or over here and again you can find dates you can find gifts you can find prayer mats and even the gold shops but most of the people prefer the bilal masjid uh, market because that is comparatively more cheaper as compared to here but both are good enough this is all covered all underground and that would be outside so these are the two main areas I would recommend uh, if you're going to Masjid Enabdi and you want to buy some souvenirs, some, some gifts. So those are the two. Whereas there are lots of others, and this is like a the zoom map of uh, Masjid Enabdi, uh, or sorry, Medina. And here you can see there are lots of other, like if you want to go to a fancier malls, uh, I would say there are Alur Mall, Al Rashid, uh, Rashid Mega Mall, and Medina Mall. So this is Al Nur. So here, basically, this center place is the Masjid Enabdi. So Al Nur is over here, Al Rashid Mega Mall is here, Medina Mall is here. So they are a bit far away. And you need to basically take a taxi in order to go there you can't just walk uh, as compared to masjid -e bilal or the one one real market which i showed you there is wow five as well many people uh, prefer like um, mention about wow five but for if you are just a visitor a wow five is not for you because this is more about food and grocery and such kind of things they have other things as well souvenirs some some kind of but it's mainly meant for like a mega shopping like something like a hyper store or something but wow five is in the name because almost all of the things are five real but actually there is a tax on top which makes it more than five real you can say but it's like a five real market. So other thing like uh, wow, uh, wow five I just mentioned because again lots of people I've seen that have made the videos and also mention and ask questions. So that's why like if you take a car, it is eight minutes drive from the back of the the gate. Okay, this is the gate three six five. You can say almost, and it is somewhere here, which is like three kilometers away. So of course you cannot walk. Masjid -e Bilal is this one, the red pointer if you see. So this is all the parking for Masjid -e Bilal, and this is the Masjid -e Bilal market and the the other one real market is in the north and it is over here in this red pointer in the front so uh, and approximately 20 real the taxi gonna be charging if the rate changes it can but this is so this is how wow five looks like okay the building structure and this is how it is so you can already see that is this like the general uh, grocery kind of stuff uh, like soap some some drinks some washing liquids and this is for grocery for people who are living there not really meant for people who are visiting and who want to buy some souvenir maybe you can find it's not that you cannot find they you they are there but that's the thing it's it's better for those people not for tourists so other thing which I thought may be useful for you for food and restaurant, especially if you're going from uh, 
uh, like uh, looking for desi shops as well desi restaurants uh, but a good area which is not far away uh, it's again in the south okay this is bilal masjid you can see bilal uh, ibn raba mosque okay this is the bilal masjid mosque and just on the left side of it this is a famous uh, location which is known as kuba walkway or uh, Kuba front, I think so as well. Yeah, Kuba front. Yeah, this is the name. So if you search for it, it's only nine minutes or actually less than like after seven minutes walk, you will uh, reach the uh, Kuba walkway. And this is a nice area. They have made some small restaurants, lots of fancy restaurants over there. So uh, some stalls and this is how it looks actually. So you can see that it looks nice. It's kind of a modern uh, look over there. Nice walking area. So some snacks some, uh, and there are uh, other uh, Pakistani restaurant uh, as well over there uh, like this one is Usmani Al Jadid okay and uh, so I don't know what the new renovation looks like maybe this is the new one but but there are lots of things for good food and restaurant you can go to this street and if the weather is good you can enjoy so this is all what I wanted to cover today um, so you have uh, looked at the cheap shopping places you have looked at a bit about food stuff and also some big mega malls if you have too many days you want to spend but of course you're going to medina spend the day in prayers uh, in in visiting the holy prophet or the uh, or pray praying to allah wa ta'ala for this holy place Hope you like the video. If you like, please do subscribe and share. And if you have any comment, let me know. I have many other videos about Hajj, about Umrah, about places. So do check them in the comments area, in the description area. And thanks for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum.